Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ajit Kumar, and in this video, we will do the VNet pairing. So, first of all, we will go to the Microsoft documentation and check uh, the VNet pairing uh, definition and all. So, as you can see in the Microsoft documentation, it's mentioning that VNet pairing enables you to seamlessly connect two or more virtual network in Azure. The virtual network appears as one of the following connectivity purpose. The traffic between virtual machine in peer virtual network uses the Microsoft backbone infrastructure. So there are uh, basically uh, two types of VNet pairing uh, we are doing. So uh, first uh, is uh, virtual network pairing and global virtual network pairing. So now let's uh, discuss one by one. Uh, so suppose you uh, you ha you are having uh, one of the VM deployed in each uh, region uh, for the application and another one is in uh, the same region each uh, US uh, for the databases. So if you are trying to do the uh, connectivity in between that application and the database server, so uh, we can use the VNet pairing. So uh, in another case, this is uh, the global VNet pairing. So in the global VNet pairing, basically, you know, su suppose your application is deployed in the East US region and uh, and your database is in West uh, or another region. So in that case, uh, we will enable the global VNet pairing so that uh, uh, any region, uh, uh, VM deployed in any region can be communicate with each other. So this is the uh, basic definition of the uh, VNet pairing and global VNet pairing. So in this video, basically, I will be do the global VNet pairing. So let's see the diagram. So I have created one of the VM in East region. I'm considering as a VM one, and the another one I created VM two in the West region. So this is the subnet address space for the VNet 10.0.0. Uh, backslash 616 and in the waste 10.1.0.0 10 uh, slash 16 so make sure uh, your uh, whenever you are doing the uh, pairing uh, the addresses uh, address space should be different okay otherwise it it would be start the overlapping so i will go ahead and will show the azure so i will go ahead and create a vm in east and west region so I will be go and create a resource group in uh, I will be mention that list okay which I will be keeping the east US to region and the same time I will be create for the west region Will be creating a resource name as so our list resource group is created. I will be go ahead and create a virtual machine in this region. VM list mentioning the name In the network setting, I will create this as a default. Okay, here uh, the the address space is taking 
the same one which we have defined here okay so i will keeping this one i can review and create for the station So finally, its uh, deployment deployment is in progress for the each station. I will go ahead for the in the base station and will create a virtual machine along with the VNet. Here I will be keep name VM best and location i will be use best or oh, tree i'm getting this option only so no worries anyway we are doing the global we need pairing so here i will be if name moving to the disk i will be use the standard as a hst for the demo perspective here in the networking uh, as you can see uh, earlier we got uh, in the vnet in the east is region we got this address spaces and uh, now we are get, getting this one so what i can do i will be this is the address spaces i am getting so it looks fine as per the diagram so i will be go ahead and review and create so validation completed i will be go ahead and start the creation so our each to vm is created let's see try to do the rtp So this is our east vm uh, waiting for wish to be completed so, so since our uh, both the vm got deployed in the east and west i will be go ahead and start the peering so i will be go ahead in the east uh, region and let's go to that vnet uh, you will be get from here or, or either you can go to the resource group and search for that vnet which is connected to that to your virtual network uh, virtual machine and here in the setting you will be get an option for the pairing i will be go ahead and uh, click on add so here uh, i will have to pair from a to pair b okay so i'm pairing from a to b i mean so east to west uh, we can west to west okay so all the settings i am keeping as a default here in the second option you are you are getting an option for a remote virtual network so here uh we are doing from east to west and if we here we are getting from west to east so i will be mentioning that west to east so at the same time we can be able to do the bi-directional uh, communication in between the vnet 
here uh, if you are aware of that uh, vnet it would be fine i mean sorry uh, vnet resource group resource id basically you will be you will be get from that this properties uh, you, you can choose that one or either you can select the subscription you will be get the vnet details so i will go ahead and select that resource id and click on it so as you can see uh that uh, two vnet gearing uh, basically initiated okay so here we did from east to west okay i will be go ahead and check uh, in the west region west region vnet so as you can see west to east is all also created so wait for some time now it's uh, showing the status connected i will be go ahead and refresh that one it also connected so what i can do i will be go ahead add to that uh, virtual machine available in the east region and we'll try to do the rdp try to take the rdp so i have already uh, logged in so no worries i will be go ahead for, to the west region vm and try to rdp from there let me rdp that west region vm from east so as you can see we are getting a prompt to rdp I will show you that uh, this is the IP or uh, the private IP for that this is the private IP for our East Asian and uh, Okay. okay okay yeah so i have already logged into this one so this is the ip for our uh the secondary one the west region and this is our ip for the primary region i uh, mean so uh, east location so i will be go ahead and try to do the rdp from west to east and we'll check if it is working fine or not so i will be go ahead to the west region and try to do the rdp So I logged into my West Asian VM and will try to do the RDP to the East VM. And we'll check or we can enable or not. now as you can see we are getting a prompt to log in to the remote session
so as you can see this this was our east region and this is our west region so now uh, we are we we able to do the rdp from east to west and west to uh, east after did the global v net pairing so hope this video is really helpful to you so please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much